Name the rooms in your house that you've had sex in besides the bedroom. Any kitchen island action? Maybe. <laughs> It's Lauren, welcome back to my channel. I am currently three shots in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this was my idea. I was like, yo, will you film this with me? And so here we are, Alicia's had four shots because <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Today we're doing a drunk Q&A slash truth or drink, shout out the cut. Alicia and I have both done a segment on the cut. And we feel like we just like didn't give you the tea that you were after because the cut didn't even know the questions to ask. No. So we've got um, TK behind the cam. Honestly, TK and Ashley both did us so dirty. Like these questions are so insane. So <laughs> we've already filmed, um, I don't know, like 30 questions mm. for Alicia's channel. Hence why we're feeling a little posty right now. So make sure to go to Alicia's channel to see the other half of the questions because the tea has been spilt, the shots have been taken. So essentially how this works is that TK is gonna ask us a very scary question. If we don't wanna answer it, you have to take a shit. I haven't said anything this whole intro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like we don't need to be like, yeah, yeah, we'll get to it. Lorisha! Uh, hey, no. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna be talking to you about um, truth or drink because obviously we're 27 year old and we know how to drink, but we've been very censored our whole lives. So hopefully this is still monetized. I rhymed. <laughs> For both of you, who has the more successful YouTube channel? Lauren. No, I think you. You're t you're almost at that diamond play button. You're almost at the diamond play button. Your vlog no. channel is so much bigger though. No. Yes. This one. No. I keep going down. I went <laughs> under 9 million subscribers. I hit I've 9 million down and down I went Wait, have you been going down on Instagram? Yeah. Me too. Irrelevancy. Feels good. Who is an underrated YouTuber that you think is on the cusp of popping off? You're the queen of underrated YouTubers. <laughs> like watching underrated people that like haven't popped off yet. Oh. Mine is Lone Fox. I've been obsessed oh. with him. He's like pre-pop off to like the pop off. I yeah. Think. I'm not just saying this, but TK's Juicy Polls. <laughs> True. Literally. Stop. No, 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 no. True. No, no, no. I get 10%. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm indebted. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I really, I really, truly think Stop. that though. Yeah, agree. Have you ever had another influencer type person, like guy, slide into your DMs, like trying to hit on you? Oh, oh yeah. yes. I had a creepy Damn, 18 year old TikToker slide into <gasps> my DMs not too long ago, and then I saw it, and a couple hours later he unsent it. <gasps> I can't remember honestly what his name was, but it was one of the guys who does like the weird like lip growl raise. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like you know when they like they can all lift this corner of their. Yeah. Yeah, you can do yeah. it, yeah. Other than that though, honestly, when I first became single, I was like, maybe there were guys who like thought I was cute yeah. like when I was in a relationship. No one. Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever slid into another YouTuber's DMs like trying to like, you know, hit on them? Not a YouTuber. Ooh, do tell. Like more celebs, you know. <laughs> Succeeded at some. <laughs> Woo! She just quietly just says succeeded at some. <laughs> Who, 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 who? Give us one, give us one. Oh my god, is this the time I finally say it? Yes! <laughs> a few months ago, I slid into Tyler Cameron's DMs and the <laughs> <b> replied. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking dialogue, like exchanges of messages. What know? else would you be referring to? Well, I, I didn't want people to assume we like hooked up and like Hannah would come for me, you know? Are they still together? I have no idea. Who would be more successful in a normal person job? Like not being a YouTuber. Oh, I think, Ooh, I think you. <laughs> You're super like thorough. I'm thorough, but Jeremy and I have this conversation all the time. I'm scared of asking for what I want. So I me think too. I would do a lot of work and do really good work, but be like way too scared to ask for a promotion. So mm. I'd be at like an entry level oh, same, job. Same. Forever. Same, same, same. I feel like we're similar in like our yeah. work ethic, so it's like maybe both of us just not be successful. So that's great. I was yes. extreme okay. PETA pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, a what? A PETA pro when I worked at the <laughs> extreme PETA shop. Oh, like a PETA. PETA. <laughs> like a PETA. Not PETA. PETA. <laughs> <laughs> I can scoop a solid ice cream. Okay. I can serve a, a, an icy drink. Okay. <laughs> Are you a millionaire? 
Yes. Both of you have to answer. Do I know how much you paid for your house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like I want to say it, but it's just like, you're like, ugh, ugh. yes, yes. With gusto, I am. <laughs> you can do it. You got this, me. <laughs> yes. Some years I have been blessed. We're so conditioned to like have to be so. Oh, like... I am a PR's dream. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, we need to own our pride. We need to say we work hard. hard. Um, <laughs> I, Alicia Marie, am. I can't say. Oh my god. <laughs> Alicia Marie is a millionaire. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, who makes more money, Lauren or Alicia? I think you, but we can find out right now. <laughs> last year? Yeah, like last year. <laughs> Same. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> um, equal? Wow. Like, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Tea. Which YouTuber in your friend group gets the most guys? All my friends are, like, wifed up, I feel like. Who's, like, the one that usually has no problem getting guys? I would say Rem. I mean, she's booed up. Oh, now. yeah, 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 you're so right. Like, yeah, Rem like pre -cow. Single Rem. Single Romy. Rem. Romy. 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 <laughs> Romy is Rem's alter ego. Yes. She wild. As we all know, YouTubers can make a lot of money. When a YouTuber's boyfriend moves in with them, should the guy pay rent? Yes. yes. Okay. No questions asked. Literally no questions asked. I know some girls who just like let it coast. Does Jeremy pay rent? Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, Woo! I feel like, is this like a rare thing? Do other people's boyfriends don't pay rent? <laughs> Sorry. I feel like it'd be more problematic if they didn't feel the need to like want to pay for their stay. Yeah. Would you advise your friends to have their significant other sign a prenup? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It's not like a sign of not having trust in the relationship. Your relationship is great. It's amazing. You trust. No one's going to cheat. Everything's going to be so fine. But on the tiny little itty bitty chance that things don't go right, there's so many other people vested in your business that you need to have a prenup. Also, even if I trust someone and my whole family trusts someone, we all, including the viewers, like you know someone who has just blindsided you, has to, who has turned into a crazy person who literally like has just backstabbed you out of nowhere and you were so taken off guard and we don't want that. She heated. <laughs> she has heated. <laughs> Pro prenup over here. What are your thoughts on YouTubers who share their channels with their significant other? Ooh, I have thoughts and feelings on this. Go. <laughs> okay, so I mean, Alex and I didn't share a channel, but like we were heavily entangled in each a other's entanglement. Everyone loves it. A little entanglement of business one could say. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there are very real emotions in a relationship. There will always be a tiny little piece in the back of your head when a camera is rolling that there is a camera rolling mm -hmm. and other people are gonna see it in the future. I've yet to see a relationship last. Are there some out there that I hope, yes, Jess and Gabriel Conte, I hope you last forever. But so far, I've yet to be proven when people merge channels. I think there are definitely some couples channels that can work and... Especially if they started, if they were together before. If they were together before and there's a foundation mm -hmm. of the relationship before you start making money off of your life. It's just hard. It's really hard. But I would agree. I feel like I haven't been in a public relationship, but I can't imagine wondering, hey, are you actually giving me flowers because you love me or because you want the vlog to see this? You have no idea. There's just like so many things that like you would probably do off camera because they're fun, but everything is like amped up. There's times where you might not have given the reaction that that person is looking for and they ask you to do it again. She's an actress. Lauren, on average, how many times a week do you have sex with your boyfriend? Once. That's nice. Solid. Do we feel do we more feel than me? <laughs> I don't know, we're just busy and tired and quarantine. I feel like quarantine sex is like different than regular life uh, sex. Name the rooms in your house that you've had sex in besides the bedroom. Any kitchen island action? Maybe. Oh! <laughs> I would say 50% of the rooms. Oh, you should make it a goal, just check them all. Check them all, yeah. You know, like, we got quarantine, quarantine special. Quarantine things, yeah. Oh my God. I love that. <laughs> Every year there's a vlogmas trip where you go to Big Bear and the lifestyle girls go to vlog. Who is one person that got a pity invite? <laughs> I know like three people. <laughs> 
chicken <laughs> That's so fast. <laughs> I too will be enjoying my gummy bear shot. Lauren, why do you think Alicia still doesn't have a boyfriend? <sighs> oh, I feel like I actually have like thought about this in depth before. <laughs> I think a lot of people have. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're really similar in like our perfectionist mm -hmm. attitude towards work. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you carry that through mm -hmm. your relationships as well. And your standards are very, very high. Mm -hmm. And you don't give no ho a chance. Mm -hmm. I feel like there are probably so many guys up in the DMs. It's not. <laughs> have you checked like the other messages? <laughs> <laughs> and like the apps, like do you have really intense filters on the apps? Well, we just made over my dating app. So hopefully now we find you a man. It was rough before Lauren. <laughs> really? Was it rough? What was her, wrong? Her photos that she chose. <laughs> You have so many good photos. Why would you choose bad ones? I'm not even gonna lie. Like I set my standards pretty high on the dating app as well. Cause like when I was first just like getting back into dating, I was like, okay, well like if I'm gonna hook up with someone. I want it to be someone that's like perfect. Yeah. Name a friend's boyfriend that has been a mooch. They can be an ex-boyfriend or a current boyfriend. There is an ex-boyfriend who not only lived rent free for I think a year, but then Ooh. asked his ex to pay for a rental? Shut the f up! When they broke up? Shut the f up! For him? No! Because <laughs> yeah. he was just broke and like had just been like living off of her. We done. We out. Lauren. I get so stressed when Bless. you make the pause. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a rumor oh that you and your ex boyfriend purchased your current house that you're living in uh -huh. together. Is that true? That's <laughs> why we do prenups. <laughs> I'd like to clarify something that I feel like my shot may have implied. I paid him back. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, she did! And her me is like so happy that you did that because that's such a boss ass. So speaking of you and your ex-boyfriend, you guys were very public on the internet. Did you guys ever fake anything, any prank, any bit, any skit for your YouTube channels, like for the relationship? I mean, like we were genuinely like in love and like loved each other, but there were definitely moments where like I might buy something and he would title it buying my girlfriend Did you ever think you and Alex would get back together? Honestly, what happened was that we broke up and then Alex kind of made a video without telling me. And then there was a lot of questions that we had to answer. So we made the breakup video probably a little earlier than we Are had. Are you monetized on that? I was just about intended to Intended to. Oh girl, I had to buy him out of half a house. Obviously it's monetized. Oh good, <laughs> good. I was gonna say. I think when we made the breakup video, genuinely there was like, a small chance that there was like still some stuff that like we potentially could work through. I had convinced Alex to like try and like work out our issues yeah. through therapy and we just like never got there. So got um, there was like a small chance, but I think eventually once our intentions were clear of like where we both wanted to go in the relationship, mm. it was a no. But I think that's the problem though, is that we made the video, we made the breakup video too early before we like actually knew what the Do you wish you waited? Outcome. Yeah, 100%. Oh, wow. 100%. When you see a breakup video on YouTube, what do you think? I, honestly, I feel so bad. It's just like genuinely the worst ever to feel like you have to recap some of your most intimate and emotional fights oh of God, like yeah. why someone doesn't want to continue being with you. And like you. who's in the wrong. If neither of you are on YouTube, when do you think you would have broken up? I don't think our paths would have crossed without YouTube. Uh, well, okay, theoretically. Theoretically? <laughs> I'm not sure if that would make commitment issues be more scary or less scary though mm. if we weren't in the YouTube industry. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Mm. I genuinely don't know. Mm. 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 <laughs> 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 you need a replay on that self high five? Mm. Lauren. You are launching a podcast with Jeremy soon, uh -huh. correct? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Whose podcast in the long run do you think will be more successful, yours or Pretty Basic? Look at this I'm curious what you're gonna say. Honestly, I don't know. Jeremy is so 
funny and so sarcastic. Mm -hmm. So it could go like really, really well for us, but also like it could go really poorly. Mm. But you guys are just like on a positive upwards trajectory. So like we could crash and burn in the first couple weeks or we could like. Or it could be one of these like, you know. <laughs> Pretty basic, pretty basic. I'll I mean, sit. it was just like tried and true, like have your together, but also like listen to Wild Till Nine. That's the podcast name, FYI. Oh, I love that. The merch, just put wild and then inside put to nine. Or on the back put to nine. We love a merch designer. Okay. If you and Jeremy were to break up, what happens to the podcast? Baby, we got a podcast prenup. I was gonna say, my, my, mine and Rems have a contract. Who would you rather go on a date with, Jake or Logan Paul? I know Logan much more than I know Jake, and I think Logan has done some like soul searching and reflection, not to say that he is a perfect person and has not made many, many like very severe mistakes in his past, but I genuinely think that Logan has a better head on his shoulders physically and literally <laughs> on Logan <laughs> over Jake. I could see Logan being a little more romantic, I guess, but do I want romantic? I don't know what's going on here. Jake, I, I don't want anyone picking me up in a Lambo. Why not? I don't know, I don't like the attention. I don't either, it makes me so <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm scared. Who is more narcissistic, Lauren or Alicia? <laughs> I, I probably would say me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to take it off. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Me. I'll vote for her too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think having a sponsored proposal or engagement is tacky? Here's how like brand deals work mm -hmm. is that if I'm doing a brand deal, I have to sign off on that brand deal. So then that means my engagement is not a surprise, which would be devastating for me. That's like problem number one. Problem number two is that I would never want to make an actual video recapping my love and my engagement and why I want to spend forever with someone with a brand. But like if it's just a picture tag or an Instagram mm. after the fact, I would be down, I think. Like I would not be opposed to it. I agree with that though. If it's something after the fact, I'd be more open to yeah. it. But overall, I feel like I still would say, yeah, it's kind of tacky. Cherish the Only moment. because you don't want to go into your whole marriage thinking, oh, was this only because we got a deal? Or, oh, it was free, so it seemed easy, or True. I don't know. I feel like if I was with a boyfriend and we were talking about marriage and then I got an email saying, hey, we have the ring sponsor, I feel like that would speed up the process. That would have been right, natural. Right, right. You're like, you know? oh, well, like, what, this we're already sense? talking we're about ta this. Yeah. It's free. Like, well, we talked about the next year, so we might as well. You like, know might as well, like, take this opportunity, but then it's like, no, no, yes. don't take that opportunity. Don't take it. But but also like if you want to get free stuff for a wedding and just like tag. Oh yeah, I would tag like the vendors, the venue, venue and that kind of stuff. Brands. I just want the whole idea to fully be mine. For sure. And I want to be surprised. And like feel I'm emotional. Sure. Yeah. Like I don't want someone's lawyer contacting me, letting mm. me know that like he got down on the wrong You don't knee. want your lawyer to know before you know. Last question ladies, since you guys are so known for being so PG on camera. Would your viewers be shocked to know that you have done things other than alcohol? <laughs> have you ever taken anything besides alcohol to make you a little bit? I'm going down together. Ah! Cheers, ladies. <laughs> Straight from the juice chug. <laughs> That's frat boy status. That's frat boy status. All right, well, on that note, um, how many shots in are you, Alicia Marie? I think seven. Lovely, I think I'm at five. <laughs> I'm gonna get pizza tonight. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, seeing a literal different side of Alicia Marie. <laughs> the same thing, but different. Same thing, but different. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and go watch the other like 30-ish questions we did over on Alicia's channel. I'll have a link in the down bar below. Subscribe to the vlog channel as well, and I will see you guys. Um, I'm drunk. <laughs> Bye! Oh, guys, surprisingly, like I know I'm drunk. <laughs> Pretty little kingdom out here running